Hey everyone, and welcome to my flip through of Witches and Whimsy, a art therapy book by Lorraine Clare. This is um, the second book. I believe this is her, only her second book out. I think she only has two. This one is not as dark as her other book, Night Terrors. This is a lot more um, friendly images or uh, happier images. Um, like I said before, the last one, um, this is on the Create Space paper. So, you know, it is not the best paper, but I believe, let me just double. No, this one's go all the way to the edge. So these ones go all the way to the edge. Those ones were squared off. Um, but um, I do not know if there's a PDF file of these ones. Let me just double, double check. Owen oh, didn't have anything. It just had the Patreon link, which this one just has the Patreon link as well. So I don't know if there's a PDF file. Um, I will try to find my best to find one. But this is, in my opinion, they're really worth uh, the price because of the... Um, quality of the images and if you do have a printer you can just print them out or you can exacto knife cut them out and print them onto you know better paper so let's get started and like the other one i'm going to be flipping to the back of the book because you all have a description of each uh, each page so on the front you just have the title name then you have where to follow and a little bit about her then you have the first one here which is um witch's tears you have the cover image here which is really really cool and a um, beautiful image and this one is a classic witch. Then you have a friendly familiar, which is your witch's cat. You have a little, um, uh, what are they called? Um, fly, a Venus flytrap, and those will play a theme throughout it, the whole thing. Then you have some spell bottles here, which are a potent potion. Then you have the dark fairy. You have the snow fairy, or the snow witch. I'm sorry, this is. This is the Dark Witch, not the uh, Dark Fairy. This is the Snow Witch. You have, I think, where's this one? Mushroom Fairy. So are they fairies? Oh yeah, there are fairies. So that was Dark Fairy, I read that right the first time, and Snow Fairy. They have Mushroom Fairy, which is this one really, really cool. I can't wait to do this one with all the mushroom villages. Then you have your Spider Witch, which I did start this one, gave like a gothic look to it. I really had to, I just don't know what color of hair to do yet, and so I didn't come back to it. You have your Unicorn Fairy. I think that'll be really fun to do with all of the, um, the shards or stones in the back. I, my brain is like dead right now. You have your Gorgon Witch, which is a little Medusa thing there. Oh, that's really cool. The face is up in the smoke. I just noticed that actually. Let's see. Yep, you can put it in the camera, you can see it. Then you have the witch's house interior, and there's the Venus flytraps, you know, coming back through with the witch's familiar, and then a pot with a face on it. And then you have the exterior of the house, which is really cool. I like how the witch is shadowed in, as well as the cat shadowed in there. Then on the next one, you have, um, let's see, you have the sea fairy or, or just a mermaid you have this lovely vintage um, witch which is the edwardian tea witch i really love that one i love the details that are put onto the dress see if i can raise this up so you see the details i just love 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 that image there so that one is going to be definitely one i do soon then you have your um gargoyle witch or gargoyle fairy this one is just really <laughs> The eyes are just so, they like, they confuse you with, it's like wherever you look, they move with you. I love that imagery, like where it does that, but like it's really off-putting there. And that one is the four-eyed fairy. It has a description, she is not an alien, but understands, kind and sweet. So I love that one as well. This one is your flower witch or flower fairy. This one is a fairy dragon. So that was really cute there. I love, I love the wings. That'd be, this would be really good to get with um, you know, some glitter, uh, um, glitter gel pens or you know, color in to put the stickles over it and stuff like that. I think that would look really, really good for that one. Then you have the Weeping Witch. I just love how she like did this like big, like kind of like portrait images of these, all uh, these images, portrait images of all of these pictures of the witches and stuff like that. And then you have these last one here, which is Eyes of the Fairy. This would be a good one to um, test out your different pencils on the page. I like can do like one with like your prismas, maybe one with 
um, like a budget friendly, like a Fila, one with, you know, like another one of budget friendly pencils or just your more expensive ones, see how they work on this paper. And then you just go back to the copy images and there's just, there's 20 more images. So that is Witches and Whimsy. I really highly, highly recommend these books. I'm going to be keeping probably up with, um, the Ring Claire's um, books when she did when they come out because I absolutely love them. Um, I would like I will link down below um, the, the Amazon link for this one if you uh, you are interested in it. And I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you use my link, I will get a small kickback and I will put that money back into running this channel to get more coloring books like this for review and flip throughs, get some pencils to uh, for reviews. So yeah, all that will be in the description bar below for this one. And I'll definitely try to like I said with the um, Night Terror to find the PDF link. I just don't know if there is one. But anyways, until next time, I hope you're amazing day and happy coloring.